Shalom, Israel. It's your boy, New Breed, coming through with another video. And I'd like to apologize for the lighting. I'm actually at my work site. But that don't stop the midday motivational talk for the everyday struggle. In this video, I want to talk about something that I put a lot of thought into. Put a lot of thought into this. But man. Ha <laughs> I figured it out. I figured out why the conscious community denounces the Bible. I figured it out. I had to put a lot of thought into this. Extensive thought. The conscious community are very pro-black. Real pro-black. Well, it's been proven time and time again by various authors, by various groups, that the Bible is in fact a black history book. I mean, most of the characters resided in a region of the world where their pigmentation had to be at a darker complexion. That's been prove, proven science, scientifically. Paul was called Niger when he went to Antioch. Christ himself was said to have skin of bronze, burnished bronze, and hair of wool. So, I found it rather interesting to say the least that a lot of the conscious community denounces the Bible. And then you have some of these guys that would say, well, yeah, the Bible, you know, it's black history, but it was stolen from Egypt. Well, if the Bible was, let's say it was stolen from Egypt. Why don't you want people to read it? I mean, if it's your literature, wouldn't you be promoting the Bible instead of telling people not to read it? But then I got to thinking, I, I figured it out. I said, you know what? You know why the conscious community denounced the Bible, ladies and gentlemen? They denounced the Bible because the rules in it, they don't want to follow. They want to live unruly. They want to they want to follow their own set of laws. That's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. They want to live their lives according to their own works. They want to live carnally. But then they come in the whole auspices of being spiritual when in fact you're the complete opposite of spiritual. When in fact, you're carnal. So, that's the truth about it. The Bible shines a light on these people. The Bible completely makes them scatter like roaches when the lights come on. And in these days and times, we are collecting much teachers to ourselves because we got itching ears. We want to hear from people that confirm our own lifestyles. That's why you got a lot of people in the conscious community promoting the whole idea of God being their higher self. They want to be entangled in their own devices. They want you to be entangled in your own devices. So you will never come to the full truth of the most high God, the creator, but you will look to them. These conscious community spiritual people are even worse than the preachers, than the pulpit pimps who rape the flock, who take 
and strip the communities from their resources and fatten their pockets and get airplanes and jets, the conscious community are even worse because they got people committing spiritual fornication on a whole nother level. They got people believing that they're their own gods. They got people actually following the doctrines of devils and not even adhering to their original culture. They got people serving many gods or serving themselves. They're not coming under one understanding, one teaching. That's why you can ask one of these men or women, what God do you serve? And you'll get several answers from several different people. One would say their higher consciousness is God. The next would say Amin Ra is God. The next would say that Ceramicis, Sheba, the list goes on and on and on and on. Cleopatra, the list goes on and on and on. These people are idolaters. And the reason why they have a problem with the Bible is because the Bible shines a light on who exactly who they are. See, these people don't want to humble themselves and come under the understanding of the Most High. They don't want to humble themselves and submit themselves to rules and laws to live by for the greater good of all of us. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, for the greater good of all of us. Because the rules that are given, the law, statutes, and commandments that are given will allow us to grow and build as a nation. But see, without the destruction of our people, without the chaos and dysfunction of the black community, these cockroaches have nowhere to dwell. If there's no trash, these cockroaches have nothing to feed off of. Because guess what? Their whole doctrine is solely based on the ills of the world. It's solely based on the chaos, the dysfunction, the problems that we have. Their whole ministry is based on our problems. But they bring no solutions. They just tickle your ears to make you feel comfortable telling you, just meditate. Just gaze in the mirror just gaze at the sun. Everything will work itself out with no rules, no laws, no ceremonial laws, no civil laws, no dietary laws. You do what you want because you're God, is what they tell you. All of these brothers who claim to be so spiritual are on a one way ticket to hell. And they're leading many, many, many people right along with them. This is a narrow path that we're walking. A very narrow path, broad lead to destruction. So while people are impressed by views, hits, likes, subscribers, you're seeing a huge, broad path to destruction. Because the spiritual fornication being basically promoted within this culture. The humility and being humble has dissipated. That's been completely thrown out the door. So, why does the conscious community denounce the Bible? Because they have not humbled themselves to really follow the Creator. They have been themselves introduced to these ideologies. A lot of people believe that a lot of these guys are coming with original material.